delightful. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think that this is my last video in this bedroom. I know. I actually do feel quite sad about it because honestly, I love this bedroom so much. Like I can't explain how much I love it and I'm gonna be so sad to say goodbye to it. Obviously, I'm so excited to move into my new flat. Like it's been such a long time coming now and I'm so excited, but I really, really, really will miss it in here a lot. I've just loved filming here so much. Like I think it's been so perfect for my channel, but obviously we all have to move on and hopefully all the future videos in the flat you will love just as much. So lots of you guys said to me on Instagram that you thought I should do like a sentimental video today, but I didn't really want to because I don't like getting too emotional on YouTube as you guys know. Um, so instead I thought that I just wanted to do something that was very classic and iconic to the Freddie My Love channel. Also, I know that lots of you guys have been really missing my fashion videos because there's been so much like home content and flat videos. So today I am doing a good old ASOS haul. It's a Freddie classic. It's what I feel my channel was built on. And honestly, it's a really good one guys. I haven't fallen in love with an ASOS haul on my channel in ages now, but they had so many good things for summer, like amazing, beautiful summer dresses. And we still have a few weeks left and I'm very optimistic that we're going to have an Indian summer and we'll be able to wear lots of our summer clothes in September as well, because let's be honest, this summer in England at least has been awful. So before we go ahead, I just want to thank you all so much. It just feels like a good moment to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being here for so long. Some of you have been here for five years. Some of you have been here for a few months, but for anyone here watching, I'm so grateful. And if you are new here today, then please do hit subscribe down below and join in on the fun. <laughs> Don't forget that I will link everything in this video down below in the description box, as well as the outfit that I'm wearing. And yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, guys, I had to try this one on first because I knew you would go absolutely bananas for it because you know exactly what I'm going to say, don't you? Yes, this dress is practically an exact dupe for my Zimmerman dress. So the dress isn't an exact copy. There are lots of differences in the design. Um, so for example, mine's a high neck button down and this is more of like a plunging V-neck neckline. And then also like the bottom part is different and actually it is a little bit of a weird fit. I feel like maybe I should have sized up in this um, just around the hips. I feel like this could just be a little bit longer for me. But regardless, I'm sure you can get the idea. The sleeves of the dress are practically identical because it even has the buttons. And this is one of my favorite, favorite dresses that I own, well not this one, my actual Zimmerman one, but obviously it's out of stock and it was so, so eye-wateringly expensive and I feel like this is such an amazing alternative because it totally like looks the same. I mean obviously up close it's nowhere near the same, I'm not going to say that Zimmerman is the same quality as ASOS, it's not, but honestly from a distance I feel like you could hardly tell, like these sleeves are fabulous. It's just pretty fabulous, honestly as soon as I saw this I was like oh my God, my followers are going to adore this dress so much and absolutely snap it up because you can totally like live the Zimmerman dream in this dress. So next I'm going to show you a few skirts that I found. I'm going to try them all on with this top that I've been wearing because pretty much this top goes with everything. Like guys, I hope this is still in stock for you. It was so, so cheap. I'll link it down below. It's literally like my favorite blouse. It's so, so cute. Um, so anyway, the first skirt is this adorable little blue striped skirt from Topshop. I actually miss Topshop so much. It's so sad. Like when you go on Oxford Street and it's all shut down, it's devastating. But I guess we're lucky that we do still get to shop it on ASOS. I'm literally obsessed with this skirt. I think it's so perfect for summer it's so casual it's so low-key but it just looks so pretty it's that kind of like tennis skirt style which is so so like overly popular right now and it's one of those things that I've loved for like ever literally forever I've loved a tennis skirt it's low-key kind of annoying when something you've loved forever becomes like a super trend because you're like um excuse me this is like my thing but at the same time it's really handy and good because suddenly you can just buy them like everywhere in mainstream shops and there's like loads of different versions and this is honestly so nice like I'm obsessed it's such a nice fit if anything I'm scared it's like maybe a little bit too short for me what do you guys think maybe I can just get away with this on like a really hot sunny day with like some white trainers it would look so cute so like 
off duty, low key, um, but really pretty. I love the stripes. It is actually very Hamptons and a little bit nautical. It's got these cute little white buttons and I just love it. I really love the fit. If anything, mine's a little bit big um, because I always size up for hauls in case things don't fit on me when I'm filming. I always like really panic about that happening. So I got this in an eight, I mean a 10 and I could have got it in an eight. I think it would have been a bit more snug and fitted around the waist. Um, but yeah, I love this skirt. I'm definitely keeping it, I am, because I wear the same old thing on my bottom half every single day of my life in summer, white shorts. White shorts, I have like 10 variations, but this will be a really lovely little change for me. <laughs> okay, this next skirt, I feel like you guys are going to go crazy for because it's so, so adorable. And I'm actually praying that this is still fully in stock by the time this video goes up because it's absolutely, amazing. You guys have already seen me feature this skirt in the plain white. It's the puff full skirt from ASOS and it's so, so cute. Like the shape is amazing. I love a puff full skirt. I just love the architecture. As you know, I like anything that's like gonna stick out and just have some shape and not just hang there like a limp piece of spaghetti. That's like my pet hate. And I just love how poofy and fun this is without being like super over the top or like unwearable. I think it's absolutely perfect. Again, just with like a plain white blouse if you want to dress it down or even like a little cropped cami or something like that really low key and some white trainers or you could totally dress this up with a nicer blouse and a little pair of like heeled sandals it's quite versatile and I just love it I love the blue flowers I feel like it's such a pretty classic pattern at the moment I'm really obsessed with blue flowers as you know they featured a lot in my previous fashion videos this summer anyway I'm going to move on now because I could honestly talk about this skirt all day it's so pretty and I actually prefer this honestly to the white one I just I just think it has more about it and it's just so so perfect and the final skirt is this one and oh my god I'm literally just as obsessed with this as the others it's another like tennis style skirt but the shape on this one is amazing it's honestly so flattering because I don't know if you guys can see but the pleats they kind of come all the way up to the waistline and it just totally like sucks you in it's so flattering and it's really really comfortable as well i love the buckle detail i feel like it really adds something and just the pattern like these beautiful kind of like really soft watercolory florals i'm just obsessed i feel like this kind of has a high-end feel as well like maybe a little bit zimmerman for me this is literally the perfect everyday skirt because i feel like it's subtle enough to just wear for everyday casual but it just has so much flair and it's so pretty but it is still low-key and you can wear it with all of your different white tops and blouses and t-shirts and camis or whatever it is you like to wear on top you can do trainers you can do mules the june sliders you can do heeled sandals you can do everything it's so so pretty and i'm literally like I'm so in love with this skirt oh my gosh I just love it I'm going out for dinner later and I think I might actually wear this exact outfit next I have this dress and honestly guys this dress is sheer perfection like on it looks so much better on me than like I thought that it would look when I saw it on the website like I actually adore this dress it's so so pretty like I don't really have any dresses in this kind of fit and this shape but I love it it's so loose and so comfortable and it's just so like easy going and I feel like it's very flattering as well and it's just Oh my god it's so pretty the fabric feels lovely it's so floaty and light i just love this gathering around the waist i think it's such a gorgeous detail and then the way that it kind of like comes like this over the body and over like a strap a bit kind of like a roman toga i think it's so pretty and then it's just really floaty at the bottom with a cute little frill hem and i just love the color and the pattern it's this really pretty off-white with these orange roses with like muted green leaves it's just adorable it's very like vintagey and also the back detail is really pretty so the back is all kind of like open with a little tie at the top i can't believe it i was expecting to like really like this dress but not to actually love it i think it's so beautiful i'm obsessed with this i think i'm definitely going to keep this next up guys i have this dress and if i had one word to describe this dress i would say happy it's just such a happy dress it's so bright it's so fun it's youthful and whimsical and i just absolutely love it the reason this actually stood out to me is because i feel like recently when i've been browsing like farfetch and net porter and i've had like instagram ads from fashion brands i'm seeing a lot of like this kind of dress 
at a really, really high price point and I've been like really tempted because they look so gorgeous, but then I'm like, mm, I'm not sure that's the dress I want to spend like a lot of money on. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, because this looks just like the kind of dress I've been seeing on all of these like higher end places. This is the kind of dress that will just brighten your day. Look at me, I can't stop swishing it about. I love the gingham, I love the little like ruffles and the straps and it's got a really pretty like strap detail at the back as well which I think is adorable. And I feel like this is the kind of summer dress that's just so classic and timeless. Like you would just wear this every single summer. Like it's not gonna go out of style at all. Like has gingham ever really gone out of style? I would personally pair this with my June sliders, but in white, which gives me a really good excuse to buy them because I've been thinking about buying the June sliders in white all summer. And I'm like, why haven't I done it? Because they're my favorite summer shoes. And I know some people would go with like white trainers with this, which would look really cool as well. But honestly guys, I'm so in love with this dress. I don't want to take it off. I'm so comfortable, so swishy and just so happy. So sticking with the pink vibes, because that dress has made me remember how much I'm actually really missing the pink vibes, because I'm having a lot of fun um, experimenting with other colors like blues and greens and apparently oranges, um, but pink is where my heart lies. So next um, I'm showing you this blouse. I've paired it with my white Zimmerman shorts, of course. This is a Topshop blouse and I'm obsessed with it. It's actually a really long, baggy blouse. I'll show you what it actually looks like. It's really long and floaty. I mean, it's literally as long as my shorts. That's hilarious. Um, so you could wear it like this if this is more your thing. I think if you're more kind of like a modest dresser, this is really beautiful. You could tuck this into some like wide leg trousers, like white ones which would look spectacular. But for me, I've got to tie it. You guys know I'm always tying my shirt. I just like to kind of show a little tiny bit of skin. Um, and I think it just gives you a really nice shape as well when you crop your blouses like that. And it kind of just gives it a really cool, like relaxed, slightly sexy look. And I say sexy with a pinch of salt because this blouse is probably the very opposite of sexy. We've got bows, we've got pleats and ruffles. It's just pink and perfect. And I absolutely love it. I think it has such a chic, like high-end, high fashion feel, but it's also still really, really wearable. It's such a pretty color, so ultra feminine, but if you do kind of tie it like this and do it with the shorts or do it with like the wide leg trousers and crop it or tuck it in or whatever you want to do, it looks really cool as well. It's from Topshop, which I was kind of surprised about because Topshop doesn't always go for like ultra feminine. And this is just, I feel like such an explosion of femininity, which is why I love it. Um, it's slightly sheer, so definitely a nude bra underneath, but the fabric is really, really lovely and soft and thin, but in a nice way, like it's perfect for summer. And they also do one in this beautiful sage green color, which I won't try on for you because it looks exactly the same, but a really gorgeous color and it will tone down the kind of girliness a little bit if you like the style, but you feel like the pink is just too much. This would be a really nice alternative and this would look amazing. Like, oh my God, green blouse, white shorts with like a pink bag, like the pink Chloe bag. <gasps> delightful. So I'll link both blouses down below for you guys, but I'm just obsessed with this. It's amazing. I told you guys this was a good haul. So next up is this dress and I wanted to try something that was a little more low key, less like overtly girly. And I think this is perfect. I really love the color. It's a lovely like creamy off white in that like kind of cottony poplin fabric. And although it looks very, very plain, there are so many lovely details on this dress that I think just elevate it, give it a more expensive, high-end, chic look, even though it's super, super simple. So first of all, I really love this elasticated gathering around the waist. It's so, so simple, but it really cinches you in around the waist and it's so flattering because it creates these lines upwards and these lines downwards that just give you like this hourglass shape, which I just love. Um, and I really love how it has subtle pleats. They're not like super dramatic um, or pronounced, but they're there and it just gives it a really pretty shape. It's also got this really nice ruching on the shoulder that kind of like cinches up the arm creating this like triangle which again I think is such a flattering shape for your arm and then it just creates this really nice like subtle design detail as well so yeah even though this dress is super simple I actually love it and I think it's the perfect everyday dress just with like some sandals nice handbag just on those super like low-key off days and it's nice and cool as well um, and such a classic like shape and color that we can definitely wear this like next summer, the summer after. Um, yeah, I really like this a lot. 
Next up, I have this adorable little white embroidery dress from Topshop. And I feel like this kind of dress is such a summer classic. So no, it's not the most like unique, unusual, like wow dress you've ever seen in your life, but they're the kinds of things that you wear all the time and you just wear them every single summer. So if you are looking for one or you don't like have one in your wardrobe, then this would be such a lovely option. It just has really pretty details. Like I feel like the top is actually very unusual with this little cut out here and it has really beautiful sleeves as well. It's kind of got these like swooping ruffles, which I think are such a lovely element. They kind of look a little bit like fairy wings, but not too twee. It also has this really lovely open back um, and you tie it in a bow kind of like halfway up, which I think is lovely. And it's just the ultimate every everyday summer dress that's just super easy to wear. It always looks classic and pretty, but it's very much like low effort, low maintenance. You don't look like you're trying to make a statement, but you do always look lovely. With this, I would obviously go with my brown leather June sliders and like my pink Chloe bag, but you could also do little heeled sandals and dress this up for a little cute summer like lunch with your friends. I just really like the design and the shape and the way it fits. I like how the little bit of like midriff showing just kind of takes away a little bit of the cutesiness um, of the dress. And I really like the frill hem and I just love these sleeves. I feel like I haven't seen this kind of sleeve around a lot. Um, I think it's a really beautiful, unique detail. And then the final dress is this. And oh my gosh, just talk about lovely in literally every single way. I just can't believe, first of all, that ASOS has so many pretty feminine dresses this summer. Um, and this one is just it's literally perfection. Apart from the fact that it's very thin, could do with the lining, tiny bit see-through, but just get a nude thong and it's fine. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. This is very like cottage core vibes with these vintage florals, these pretty like vintage roses um, are just so adorable. I love the sleeves. The sleeves are a dream. You guys know I love a little bit of flounce in the sleeve. I think it's so feminine, so flattering, especially when it comes in and like cuffs nicely on your wrist with a few button details. Literally perfection, really beautiful neckline as well like I don't usually go for plunging necklines but I think this is done in such a nice tasteful way and it's totally totally wearable it has this really beautiful like broidery trim going around the waist and also the neckline with this really cute little satin ribbon like woven through so you can like pull it and do a little bow in the middle I mean it's so pretty almost a little bit like nightgowny but really gorgeous and then the skirt it's just flowy it's pretty I feel like it's the perfect length it's short but it's not too short this one also has has a really nice open back as well with like a tie detail um, at the top, which I think is lovely. I think the thing I love the most about it, aside from the gorgeous pattern and the details is, I love how it's this like ultra feminine, kind of like cutesy dress, but the shape is so like womanly and flattering and it does have a little bit of like sexy elements with a plunging neckline and just the way it gives your body a nice shape. I just love the crossover between the two. Oh my God, I just realized there is padding in the shoulders. That's why you've got this incredible like structured look in the sleeves. That is honestly incredible. I'm just obsessed. This is the prettiest dress ever. So guys, that's the end of the haul and that's it for today's video. And it's also curtains down on this filming setup. It is a little bit sad, but I feel like we can still enjoy the old videos so much, like the wardrobe clear outs and the wardrobe challenges and the outfit challenges and all the fun videos that I've made stood right here in front of these gorgeous wardrobes. And hopefully things will only get better and you'll enjoy my videos in my new filming setup just as much. And I'm really, really excited. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.